Hello, it is Sunday, July 31st, 2022. I'm Chris Primo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Sunday puzzle today with a bit of a combative title. Why? Well, why not? And um, it will be a themed puzzle today and a very large grid, which is the way, the way of the world on Sundays with the New York Times puzzle. And this potentially combative edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to you by Victoria Rojishka, David Connell, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, the inimitable Connor O'Neill, and the invaluable Cynthia Toms. So thank you so much to the six of them, benefactors of the Daily Self Patreon campaign, for directly contributing to this channel and helping to make this series a sustainable part of my daily work. I do very much appreciate that. Thank you to everybody who has contributed to the Patreon campaign at any level. It does mean a lot to me. And you can find all of the videos that go out to Patreon backers if you Join that yourself at patreon.com slash daily solve. And there's a link in the description field underneath the video where you can also find a link to the daily solve discord chat server where you can um, meet and chat with other members of this community. And it's a nice little place. And you can solve crosswords that they've created as well in the constructors corner channel, which I do as well for the Patreon campaign. Anyway, um, do subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've been enjoying these videos. Thank you if you have, and pass it on to a friend if you think you know somebody who might enjoy this sort of thing. I haven't mentioned that in a while. And with that, let's get on to today's solve. As stated, it is a titled Sunday puzzle. The Sunday puzzles uniquely have titles. Why? Well, why not? By Jesse Goldberg, who is uh, constructed a small handful of puzzles for the New York Times, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. There will be some kind of theme today and many answers. And this looks like actually, even for a Sunday, this looks like a particularly open grid. I see this is going to be a lot to fill. All right, a condiment at a pho shop. Sriracha maybe? Um, Vietnamese, sriracha is Vietnamese, isn't it? Vietnamese um, chili, chili sauce. Proceeded down a lane, maybe. Um, why don't I see what this is? Oh, swam, a swim lane in a swimming pool. There we go. Tick off. You could rile somebody. You could really tick them off. This could also mean tick off as in a task off of your list, but I think with that R, it's probably rile. If you did something without much thought, you did it idly, perhaps. And to excise something surgically is to... Resect? What is it? I think I know this word, but I can't bring it to mind. Household robot from Amazon. Is it Alexa? <laughs> Amazon's household robot? Uh, maybe. That seems plausible. An abyss is a chasm. And like some towels and topics, you could have hot towels and hot topics. And to put... Oh, oh right. So put is always a tricky word because it could be past or present. So... Um, I think in this case it's eight. Put a, put something away, you ate it. And what is this one? Big picture. Oh, a wide shot. Okay, this must not be Alexa. Um, household robot from Amazon. I have no idea. Hmm. Nationwide competitor. It looks like Allstate. So Allstate is an insurer in the United States. So nationwide must be as well. Longtime surname on late night TV, TV, Myers, looks right to me. Household robot from Amazon. I guess it's Astra. I don't know it, so I might wait on that because I've never heard of this before. Big name in grills. Doesn't Weber or Weber make grills? Blanc la Cité, home of Notre Dame. Uh, Ile de la Cité is where Notre Dame is. So no Notre Dame is in Paris on a little, a little island that's actually in the river. So it, and it's the Ile de la Cité, the uh, island of the city, I suppose you'd call it, the Seine. And we have a couple letters here, so let's check the crosses. Got too scared without. Oh, is this not Ile de la Cité? Am I wrong? What? What would have W-I here? What about this one? Author, journalist, Welteroth. I don't know. Places where some belts are tightened. This will probably be a theme 
answer. And here we have rooibos by another name. So rooibos is a red bush tea, red tea. Um, um, from Africa, I think. I like a, I like a rooibos. It's a non, non-caffeinated tea, but not decaffeinated. It's just not, it isn't tea, I suppose, technically. Smallest country in the EU by area. I would think it would be Malta. That would have been my guess even without the cross, but I think it is even more likely to be right in that context. And stacked... Oh, this looks like wimped out. Right. Why didn't I see that? Okay, got too scared without is wimped out. That looks right. Stacked is piled up. Stacked up, piled up. Musical artist known as the Queen of New Age. Probably Enya, who owns some sort of castle or something, I think. As I think Enya was in yesterday's puzzle as well. It's so funny when something like Enya appears in the puzzle on consecutive days. Just as one of those things. Interior Secretary Hayland. Uh, oh, I'm not sure. This is the kind of thing I definitely would have known when I was living in the United States, but I'm less up on these days. Uh, what about this? Author, journalist, Welteroth. Elaine Welteroth. Um, places where some belts are tightened. Belly? I mean, belly makes sense. Belly what? Not sure. Hold in custody. Arrest? Maybe? And shelve. Hmm. The Blank Holmes Mysteries, Young Adult Detective Series. Oh, I think I actually know what this is. This must not be a rest. I think it's Enola Holmes. I think this is, there's a, Sherlock Holmes has a sister maybe, who in these, in these books pitched for young adults. I think that might be the case. Um, so hold in custody is to what? And blank new entre nous, between us. It's a phrase. And server error. Not found, maybe, when you see... Oh, no, that's not right. I was going to see when you see a 404 error on the internet, and it says 404 not found. I thought that maybe would be what it is, but nope, doesn't seem to be. The Liberty Tree, e.g., is it an elm tree? <laughs> I just, I'm guessing based on that L there. Some free housing recipients for short. Um, probably ends with an S. Oh, maybe, what is it? RAs, re residential assistance or something? In university dormitories in the US, you get RAs, res resident assistants or residential assistants who are kind of the student, they're kind of the, I don't know, middle management layer between this, drawn from the student body between the students and the, I don't know, faculty, I suppose. So shelve, maybe to defer, right? We say, we're going to shelve this topic. We're going to defer it for another day. And, oh, belly bottoms. Oh, oh, so here's our theme. We're turning bell bottoms into belly bottoms by adding a Y. <laughs> and that fits with the title. Why? Well, why not? So I guess we're adding Ys to common phrases. Well, well also rhymes with bell. Is that a coincidence, maybe? Or is that part of the theme that, we're, that the phrases are going to rhyme with well? Well, bell. I don't know. I can't tell. That might just be a coincidence. Okay, longtime surname on late night TV. And hold in custody to detain somebody. That's better than arrest. Arrest is what you would do in order to hold someone in custody, whereas detaining is the actual act of it. Okay, Simpson Imp. Bart Simpson, I suppose. A mischievous child. And Stephen Crane's The Red Badge of Courage, ED. It'll probably have an, a Y here. Freeway or expressway? Uh, maybe not. Oh, no. Interesting. This is doing the opposite. This is co combat read. <laughs> In other words, it's taking the phrase combat ready and it's, um, and it's removing the Y from it. Interesting. It's funny that I used the phrase combative when I was describing what to, the, the title of the puzzle because we have that we have combat in the thing. Anyway, so 
the Stephen Crane's The Red Badge of Courage is a war novel. And so it's a combat read, a combat read, combat ready. So interesting. So we've sort of taken the why from this answer and moved it up here, I wonder. So maybe we'll alternate phrases that have gained a why versus phrases that have lost a why. And that, that sort of matches the title. Why? Well, why not? So here's our why and here's our why not. Very good. Okay. Um, Longtime surname and late night TV, Conan O'Brien. Is that spelled with an E-N? I think it is. Um, gave the scoop. Leaked two or something. Something to two. A journalist maybe gave the scoop. You tip them off to something. Wraps in, I don't know. Maybe I won't put that in yet. Its presence on Mars offers a clue to life. Interesting. Not water. Uh, here we have Growler's contents. Ale, Growler, a big beer, Stein kind of thing. And actress Lena Olin, is an actress, can, may, I can do that, I may do that, I'm not sure. Oh, could be can as in a tin of beans. Um, could be can as an axe, fire somebody, so maybe, maybe I won't put anything in here after all. Medical gloves and N95 masks for short. That's PPE. Um, um, protective, uh, personal protective equipment, as we all know, now know, and also politics, philosophy, and economics, a, uh, common sort of political grounding career in the UK or degree, university degree in the UK. Um, but not the answer to this clue. Disruption for a poolside sunbather. Disruption for a poolside sunbather. Splash, splash from the pool. God associated with the moon, Apollo. There we go. American blank. And its presence, oh, salt, maybe? Its presence on Mars offers a cubicle to life. I don't know, actually. Very interesting. Oh, resect. I think that's maybe what I said. I can't remember. <laughs> I think I maybe said resect before. Uh, so what about this? American... Uh, hmm. What about this? Buy a lot of with on. Buy a lot of it with on. I'm not sure. I don't know why I just looked at my ceiling. The answer wasn't up there, as it turns out, if you were wondering. Where Camus, the plague is set. Um, I'm guessing Algiers. So I just started reading Camus, the stranger in French because I'm trying to improve my French. And I thought, well, maybe I'll read I'll try and read a book in French, and um, and it's difficult, but but it's but it's it's rewarding and interesting. Anyway, the only reason I bring that up is because it is also set in Algiers or near Algiers, um, and so that I have not read Camus' The Plague, so I, I'm not familiar with its setting, but it made me think that's probably the answer, and I suspect it is. Okay, D as in DC, District of Columbia, D I S. Buy a lot of with on. Load up. Load up on. And the with on is just saying we have to add on to the answer in order to make it work. So to buy a lot of something isn't to load up it. It's to load up on it. So that's why we have to be given that on. American, what is this? Oh, American League. Yes, that L from Salt helped out there. Uh, one of the, in baseball, right? You have the American League and the National League. So that's what that is. And it might get the weed out is a hoe. We've had hoe several times, actually, in the puzzle recently. Sleep phase. This will probably have a why or not a why. <laughs> now, if there's one thing I can say about every single answer in any crossword, bear this in mind, it will either have a why or not have a why in it. There's a tip. Uh, sleep phase. Hmm. Kind of parking. And each a piece. Is this not Algiers after all that? I guess it could be Algeria. But then what would this be? D is in DC. Uh, hmm. I mean, Algeria would sort of be, if, if it were said in Algiers, Algiers, Algeria would be equally correct. Um, hmm. 
So I still think I still think the knowledge was helpful because I know it's one of those two things, but I'm not sure which. Uh, so if this were each a piece, and then this were pen, write author. I mean, that's if pen were a verb, if it were a noun, pen. Or it could be a pen as in a sty, like a pig sty, pig pen. Uh, I'm not sure. What about this? Clutch, e.g. A bag. You could have a clutch, a bag, a woman's little clutch. And name hidden in global economy. It looks like Alec is hidden in global economy. If you look at the literal words, global economy, you can see that Alec is hidden within it. It's a little light cryptic style crew there. So to pen, or a pen, a pen is a cage. Okay, there we go. Kind of parking. I'm not sure. Sorry if you can hear me. I hope you can't hear my stomach too badly. I apologize if so. I'm not sure what to do about that. <laughs> Lawyer with absurdly exaggerated humor. Gave the scoop. Couleur de sien would be bleu, blue in French. And so the whole the whole clue is in French, and therefore the answer will be as well. Marsupial that goes into shock when frightened, right? The opossum. And Andy Dufresne in the Shawshank Redemption, Redemption e.g., is an escapee. I hope that's not too much of a spoiler if you've not seen the Shawshank Redemption. I guess it is, but I hope you're not bothered by that. Arab leaders could be emirs. Uh, that comes up quite quite often in cryptic crosswords. If you solve cryptic crosswords, uh, emirs as leader, for instance, that kind of thing comes up very often. I spilled blank remover on my dog. Now he's gone. <laughs> Spot remover, I suppose. Stephen Wright, known for an incredibly deadpan delivery of these sort of absurdist one-liners. Dancer Charisse of Singing in the Rain. I'm not sure offhand. Sid? Not sure. Wizard could be an ace. Now this looks like we should be able to solve it. Lawyer with absurdly exaggerated humor. A campy counselor? <laughs> okay. So we have camp counselor as in summer camp, and then we're adding a Y to it to make a counselor, in this case a lawyer, a barrister, a campy counselor, camp who has a, a, a lawyer with camp humor, very big, exaggerated, kind of over the top humor. It's not the best way to explain camp, but it works well enough for the clue. Um, dancer, Charisse, or maybe it is Sid. I kind of recognize that name. Circuit bo board components are diodes. And some prosecutors, for short, could be ADAs, assistant district attorneys. And then sleep phase is some kind of part, a phase, a part. Oh, slumber part. Yes, slumber party. There we go. We've removed the Y. So the Y from slumber party has migrated up to become the Y in campy counselor. And this list does look like Algeria. Okay, so it wasn't Algiers. It was Algeria. Um, close enough. And uh, so the country rather than the city of Algiers. And then D is in DC. Dem? Demo Democrat? What does that mean? Hmm. Oh, I see. Not as, ah, uh, very clever. So, right. I should have taken the question mark into account. So when it says D as in DC, there's some clever misdirection. It's making us think we're referring to the D in the abbreviation DC, District of Columbia, District of Columbia, Washington DC, the capital of the United States. But in fact, it's saying a D that might be in, physically located in the city of DC. So a Democrat might be there, a member of the Democratic Party. There we go, very clever. And kind of parking could be curbside parking. Flagship Mercedes, sorry, flagship vehicle line for Mercedes-Benz S-Class. The Mercedes cars are all kind of these letter classes. So that's what that would be. First name in folk could be Arlo, um, Arlo Guthrie, a folk singer. Uh, son of Woody Guthrie, I want to say. And some wide-brimmed hats are Panama hats. Test as a new mattress. You could lie on it to test it. And an icky look, a leer, not a nice way to look at somebody, to ogle them. If you didn't just sit there, you acted, maybe. And to vouch for with two is to attest to something uh, for face value at cost or at par, maybe. In other words, it's not being inflated it's at par. Uh, might be. Connect. Yeah, okay. Connect is two devices. You could pair two devices over Bluetooth or some other wireless protocol. So at par and then city. Sorry, I don't know why I was reading part of 90 cross. 
Um, golf ball's path is an arc. A, go- a golf ball travels in an arc when struck. One named entertainer from Spain. Oh, is it Chara or something like that? That rings a bell. What about this? Doctor's description of the birth of triplet sons. Okay, well, that H looks right because we could have three here. And they're sons, so three-something boys or something. Not sure, but let, let's look at these clues. Handheld device used by Mr. Spock. So this will be something from Star Trek. And here we have, they might get all over the floor. Um, I'm not sure... Probably ends in an S. Uh, ticks off. Oh, that's funny. We had ticks off. Oh, we had tick off as Ryle up here. So here we have ticks off. So, yeah, I'm not sure. City north of Des Moines. Ames, maybe? That kind of sounds like it would be the right part of the country. Ames has come up in the crossword before. Iowa. Ames, Iowa, maybe? Shade of Red. Um, I don't know. Ames could be wrong. (laughs) Let's look at this cross. Unfairly takes advantage of as a policy. Boy, I'm not sure. What about this? Lunar New Year, Tet holiday. And general name for a dish, General Tso. General Tso's chicken. There we go. The general's name is so. And rhetoric could be... Hmm, not sure. What about this? Boots, helmets, rope, e.g. Those sound like gear. Gear for climbing or working on a construction site or something. I don't know. All sorts of possibilities for that gear. Harvesting machine that needs cleaning is a grimy, grimy reaper. There we go. (laughs) Yes, that grimy was the clue to that clue, to to this uh, answer. So the grim reaper and the grimy reaper. Very good. Oh, and that that's the why that, that corresponds to our slumber party up here. So, yes. Oh, wait, which way does it go? So we have why, not why. Uh, why, not why. Right, okay. So this why from grimy reaper actually corresponds to whatever this one will be missing a why. So this will miss a why. Anyway, we'll come back to it. Are you for real? So this looks like seriously in sort of text speech. So seriously minus its vowels. Surfing with a metze, metze, uh, metze platter. So pita, pita bread with metze, the little sort of small dishes, kind of, um, I don't know, like Turkish tapas almost. Uh, encourage is spur on maybe. And killer of the Night King on Game of Thrones. I've not seen Game of Thrones and I actually haven't even heard of the Night King. Sometimes when Game of Thrones comes up, I'll have heard of the characters, but this I haven't a clue, and I don't think I recognize any names that look like they would fit here either. What about this one? Blank Day, early collaborator with Prince. Hmm, I don't know. We'll have to see if I recognize that, but I don't offhand. Chocolate-covered cookie. Uh, sorry, why did I say that? Coconut-covered cookie. I apologize. That was embarrassing. Um... Primeval. Um, Stone Age looks like it would fit. The primeval world, I guess. Stone, I think of primeval as being even earlier than than humanity, but, but maybe not. Um, I'm sure there's a more specific definition of primeval that would include the Stone Age that is not what's in my brain. Count, e.g., a title, as in um, Count Dracula is the first one that comes to mind, but I don't know, the Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, sci-fi daughter of Padme. Oh, Leia? Is that? I kind of forget the, those that family tree in the Star Wars movies, but that must be Padme from the prequel films. Anyway, pear-shaped instrument, a lute, and server error is a f- foot fault? Oh, like a tennis serve. If you, is that in tennis, if you step over the line when serving, maybe? That must be what that is. Okay, there we go. Not at all what I was thinking, which I'm sure was intentional misdirection. Oh, you gave someone the scoop, you briefed them. Yes, you could brief a journalist, give them the scoop. 
And to rhapsodize over something is to extol its virtues. Caterpillar Alternative write Deere as a manufacturer of farm equipment and things like that. So John Deere, an alternative to Caterpillar, which also makes heavy machinery. And then Can is Axe. That was one of my guesses, but I didn't know which, and there it is. Coconut covered cookie. Oh, Samoa is a Girl Scout cookie, I believe. Uh, U.S. Girl Scout kind of cookie sale tradition. All right, this looks like it could be Eris, um, but since I don't know it, I'm not going to put it in. I could get burned by that. Blank Day, early collab collaborator with Prince. Oh, it's a shame I don't know this. Uh, it's a ball. And Japanese honorific sensei, maybe? An honorific you apply to somebody who's your teacher um, or has that dynamic with you. Dallas to Austin direction. Don't know the geography of Texas well enough to take a good guess at this. So, but we do know it will, this first letter will be either um, southeast or west. It couldn't be north because you couldn't have north by south something. Uh, so it probably won't be west. So it looks like it's either E or S here. It's a ball. And then this one will be either west or east. Yes, it will be west or east. Oh, and this one couldn't be west. So this one can't be west either. No, it could be. It could be south by southwest or east by southeast. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Or south by south. Okay. Anyway, this one's E or W. Prize from. Rests from. Okay. <laughs> that was probably a very tedious exercise to watch, but it did end up helping because it gave me uh, the possibilities that made this a little easier to determine. Prize from rests from someone's control. So uh, south by southwest or west by southwest, and it isn't going to be W, so it'll be an S. Anyway, there we have it. Can move on from that incredibly tiresome <laughs> examination of the cardinal directions. Mythical Weaver, um, Ariadne, no, Ar Arachne, uh, yeah, Arach yeah, it must be, prefix with puncture, acupuncture, and it's a ball, oh, it's a sphere, <laughs> okay, I probably could have sh shortcut that directional thing a bit if I had just thought that a ball is a sphere, but what can you do, didn't come to mind, well, maybe, I guess, Oh, Morris, Morris Day. That actually sounds familiar now that I see it, but I didn't come to mind at all, and I can't really picture who it is. So relax could be ease, maybe. Ease yourself, relax yourself. Fish in a poke bowl could be ahi, tuna. And is this any better? Doctor's description of the birth of triplet son. So this will be missing a Y. Three times a lad. There we go. Three, so once, twice, three times a lady, and we're removing the Y, and we're making three times a lad. There we go. And then, like Juliet Gordon Lowe, founder of the Girl Scouts. I don't know. D, don't know. Slangy turndown could be na, and rhetoric could be oratory. So, oh, it ticks off his ires. Yes, yes, ires, angers. And then shade of red is, oh, I guess tomato red. Fair enough. Um, what have we not seen? Unfairly takes advantage of a policy. I, did, I do think we did see this, but I didn't have an answer. They might get all over the floor. Um, I don't know. Battle between Tinkerbell and Prison Princess Ozma. This will be fair, fairy tales or something. Fair, fair fight? Fairy fight? Oh, oh, right. Yeah, sorry. We're taking the phrase fair fight and we're turning it into fairy fight because I actually didn't know Princess Ozma was a fairy. <laughs> I know Princess Ozma is from the Oz books by, uh, who, what, L. Frank Baum, I guess? Um, but Tinkerbell from Peter Pan is a fairy. And so I figured, well, Princess Ozma must be as well. Uh, and anyway, we're taking the phrase fair fight and turning it into fairy fight. So there we go. WAPO alternative. So that's the Washington Post is a newspaper. Another newspaper is the New York Times, the one that publishes this very crossword. Square figure, uh, like a tasty cake. Like a tasty cake. Sweet. I don't know. That seems a little bit generic. Ice cream treat. Could be an ice cream float. 
um, soda with a scoop of ice cream. They might hold on to their caps for short. Ends with an S, I suppose. Let's keep looking. Failure is not an option, presumably. That's how I feel about this crossword. We will solve it. Back in style could be retro. Uh, so something that might be perceived as overly dated, but is now fashionable again. Uh, charm is... This could be a verb or a noun. Could be enamor. He's... You're going to be enamored of it. It will it will charm you. It will enamor you. That sort of thing. They might hold on to their caps for short, for short. Alums. Is this referencing that graduates from a university throw their caps up in the air, but maybe alums don't? I don't really know that. I don't really know it's the alums implication there. What about this? Ready, all set. I mean, those look like the answer. Um, what concealer might conceal? So makeup, concealer might conceal acne. And reaches could be gets to a particular location. You, you reach it, you get to it. Dark room item in brief, a negative, pho photographic negative. And census taking of a Midwest capital. Something county. Oh, so this will be the name of a city here. And it will be also the name of a county. And we're removing the Y to make a count of that city, but I don't know what it is offhand. Cream. Um, not sure. What else do we have? Bel blank, Italian cheese. Bel peso, B-A-E-S-O. Um, initials on the road. Oh, that's funny. We have two initials on the road adjacent to one another. So... I don't know what that is. Uh, partners of Heinz. Rears? Um, your hind legs versus your front legs? Or... Not sure. Unfairly takes advantage of as a, pol as a policy. Hmm. Let's keep looking. I'll have to come back to that. that that's going to be my tricky corner. <laughs> Just like the, uh, what was it, the northeast corner, I think, in yesterday's puzzle? I can't remember exactly. Square figure. You can see right through it. Gauze, maybe? And the beginning of a toast. The gauzy privacy veil, as I often call the, uh, the scrim you have to remove before starting the crossword on the software. Beginning of a toast. Here's to, so here's maybe... Here's to the, the honoree. Some Guinness records. Oh, this doesn't look great. Here seems fairly correct. What else can we find? Begin. Oops. Become. Oh, here. Here's our revealer. Become aware of or a homophonic description of four letter shifts in this puzzle's grid. So to become aware of something is to see why or something like that. Um, move why? Uh, I don't know. Comes clean. Fesses up, maybe? That'll help. Break or break. So this has break meaning to destroy something or to pause, to take a break. And then it also has break meaning to slow down, as in break car, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know. Here we have co-author of 2016's The Book of Joy, along with the Dalai Lama. I have not a clue. I don't know. Soaks up could be sops up, maybe, as in sauce with a bit of bread. And some Guinness, some Guinness records. Soaks up, hmm. Some Guinness records. Probably ends in an S. Break or break. Stop. Oh, right. Yeah. You stop work. You take a break from work. You break for tea or whatever. And then break in a car. You stop a car. Okay. That's that. Fair enough. Begin. Something out. Oh, is it? Oh, maybe it's Desmond Tutu. The, um, 
former Archbishop of Cape Town. That must be that must be what it is. That would make sense to sort of internationally um, respected religious leaders. So some Guinness records are hmm, begin become aware of personal ad abbreviation. Could be one of the. This could be a singles ad with. F for female at the end, like looking for female or something. Not sure what the different possibilities are there. Is that something LFF maybe? Begin. Become aware of. Now, This is surprising. I would have expected there to be Y or something in here. What? No. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to fit. So why become a, to become aware of something? Yeah, I don't know. Why? Oh, why is up to to what? Yes, there it is. As the wrong, wrong homophonic form of why. So to wise up to something is to become aware of it. And indeed, our wise are going up. So it, it is actually what I thought it was. So the, the Y from combat ready is moving up to become the Y in belly bottoms. There we go. That was what it was. Okay. So maybe SWF single white female, maybe begin start out. Right. Okay. A square figure, a statue, because statues are often erected in the square. Oh, and I never even looked at this clue. Uh, Cinco plus uno is seis, so five plus one is six in Spanish. There we go. And some Guinness records are, are what, feasts, beasts? Oh, leasts, as in the least time it took to do something, maybe would be a Guinness record. And then you can see right through it is glass, much better than gauze. I don't know what I was thinking. Gauze, the whole point is you can't see right through it. That's why, it's, <laughs> that's why I use it to refer to the gauzy privacy veil. Anyway. Okay, now we have to actually solve this difficult part of the puzzle. Uh, census taking of a Midwest capital. What are some counties? Loudoun County? I just have no idea. Partners of Heinz. Probably does end in an S. Unfairly takes advantage of as a policy. adapts to or abuses a policy. Oh, right. I think this is spelled this way. Pay, say, or something like that. Not with an O at the end. That was silly on my part. So abuses a policy. Oh, they might get all over the floor. Are Roombas, the, the little um, vacuum cleaner robots. All right. So one named entertainer from Spain. It was Charo. I think that's what I thought, maybe. And hi, handheld device used by Mr. Spock. Try... Tricorder, maybe? And to cream, oh, to route as in a sports match or something. They totally creamed them. They routed them. And like a tasty cake is moist. There we go. Oh, this looks like Addison. Must be, okay, Addison County. There we go. So I guess that's the capital of a Midwestern state. Why can't I bring it to mind? I don't know. Initials on the road. And initials on the road, right? And then what about this one? Partners of Heinz. Partners of Heinz. What? Oh, it's not Heinz directionally. Sorry, I was thinking ports. I was trying to think like, um, this is not even worth explaining. I was thinking port as in left on a ship, which sounds like a ridiculous comparison. So it, it was ridiculous. Um, no, it's Heinz as in, uh, Heinz and Hearts, so deers, so um, a male deer and a female deer is what this is referring to. So then what do these become? Initials on the road, APH, oh, maybe this isn't, oh, it's Madison County, Madison, Wisconsin. That's what that is. Is that right? God, I hope I didn't get that wrong. I apologize if you're from Madison. Sorry, if I'm saying that, I'm sorry if I'm misremembering that. And... Initials on the road, Triple A, the American Automobile Association, I guess. That's it.
All right, so we had miles per hour for the initials on the road there, hearts and hinds. Okay, great. And that's the Sunday puzzle. And so our theme, relatively simple early on, it is one of those themes that does require you to some extent to understand it a bit. I suppose you could interpret each of these individually as just a standalone pun, but I think realistically you're you're going to basically get to the point of understanding the theme in order to fill these in. So we have our belly bottoms taking the Y from combat read, our campy counselor taking the Y from our slumber part, our grimy reaper uh, taking the Y from three times a lad, and our fairy fight taking the Y from our Madison count. And all of those are examples of wising up to the theme. So yes, a very nice, a very nice Sunday puzzle by Jesse Goldberg. Not, uh, not too tricky, I think, in general, except I really struggled down here for whatever reason. If I had gotten tricorder early, that would have been a huge help. And what else? I guess anything would have been helpful. Madison count, I'm not surprised I didn't get that one early. Um, yeah, just a, just a tough little corner for me for whatever reason. Goes that way sometimes. I'd be curious to know if that was similar for you, if there were other parts of the grid that were that were tougher by comparison. And yeah, a nice big Sunday grid, not too grindingly time-consuming, which is always nice on a Sunday. So now let's discuss a few clues from yesterday. So actually, I think I only had one marked aside. So apologies if you if you left others that I didn't, I didn't grab, but I just have this one here from AJ Sham, who says a skeleton bob. And I think a skeleton was an alternative to a luge or something like that. A skeleton bob is a very small sled, commonly likened to a tea tray, on which the rider lies face down and head first. It's bloody terrifying, but familiar to many Brits, as it's one of the few Winter Olympic sports where we've enjoyed great success, winning gold in the women's event in three of the five games in which it has been held, and six further medals across the women's and men's events in total. So thank you for that, AJ Sham. I think I have seen that years ago. I didn't see it in these past Olympics. I did watch some of the Winter Olympics. I mainly watched the skiing and snowboarding events for whatever reason. So maybe I'll have to go back and find the skeleton bob. And that was that for today's puzzle, for today's video. Thank you for joining me. Uh, well done making it to the end of a long Sunday, long Sunday solve. I'll be back tomorrow for the Monday puzzle when we return to a smaller standard size grid that should solve quite quickly and easily. So do join me for that. But until then, have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. Mm-hmm.